Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, this one is going to be a vlog. It's been a while since I vlogged, but uh, since we're all quarantined, there hasn't really been much to vlog about. So, uh, yeah, but I've been getting a lot of questions from people about what the situation is right now here in Turkey. So I thought I'd just show you a little bit of what's going on over here. They started a lockdown last week um, during the weekends. Uh, the only thing is that they announced it like three hours before the actual lockdown So a lot of people went panic shopping and showed up in huge crowds at the supermarket. So yeah, that was Not good. I was not one of those people because uh, one I would never do that and two I Actually found out about the lockdown Around Saturday night or something. So yeah, just went whew, whew. Anyway it is Friday today, which means the lockdown starts. So the lockdown starts tonight at midnight. So um, I thought I'd go out and do some grocery shopping and show you a little bit of how it is outside. So let's go. All prepared with the mask on. Usually I take the elevator to go uh, downstairs, but since I hardly come outside these days, I'm gonna use the stairs. Ooh. The weather is actually really good outside. Hope I can find some nail glue in the grocery store because I was doing my nails last night and halfway through, nail glue was finished. So one hand looks like this and the other one looks like this. So, yeah. Usually it's like really crowded here and the traffic is like stuck, but. Oh, the weather is so nice see people wearing masks and everything like that so that's good the stores are really crowded and they're not really keeping a distant distance so Whew. you guys I'm actually out of breath okay so got some bread and water now I'm actually gonna go and get some food. I couldn't carry it all at once, so I have to go in two times. But hopefully, when I do that, I won't have to go out anytime soon, so. Round two. Normally you can't walk here on the street. It's like really crowded with traffic. Right now you can just run. all dead. Everything in the supermarket is not pre-packed. And you got like a hand sanitizer in every area. So that's good. You're not allowed here without a mask on. So that's a good thing. Everyone in the supermarket is wearing masks. Over here they have like stickers. So you have to stay a couple of feet apart from each other. But yeah. I guess everyone is kind of sticking to it or not. On my way back home, just trying to get soak in some fresh air because I won't be able to do that in the next couple of days. Alrighty then, made it. Got a growth series and that was, that was the outside world. Now it's back to being inside. And this is where I'll be for the rest of the day. Oh, I think I'm gonna do my nails because I got the nail glues. Yeah! I miss outside. It was fun. Hey guys, it is Sunday and the lockdown is over as of midnight. So usually on Sundays there's like a market outside of my building just right here downstairs um but there hasn't been a market now for two weeks because um it's always on sunday and since we've been on lockdown every weekend for two last for the last two weeks uh there hasn't been a market so they decided to do it today monday And I have to say that usually it's a lot bigger and a lot more crowded. So 
like here it's always empty but normally it's like really there's like no empty space normally you know it's everything is just covered with um, foods and people selling foods so yeah it's not the same as it usually is but yeah I don't know people are being safe though they're all wearing masks as you can see and gloves so that's good so yeah that's the current situation over here uh, I did read a news article that there's been a decline in the rate for like one third or something so it's it's going in the right direction this is the current situation here in Turkey and I just want I was just wondering how it is you know all over the world the rest of the world so I found someone who wants to do a video chat with me uh, she's from India and uh, yeah we're just gonna chat a little bit about um, about this whole situation so here he goes. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Dealing with the lockdown pretty well. Yeah, how long have you been on lockdown now? Uh, for about a little more than three weeks. Three weeks, okay. And how much more of it is it? How long is it going to take? To the 4th of May. 4th of May, oh, okay. So how are you keeping yourself busy? Um... I literally tell myself that I don't have time uh, because I wake up, I, I'm going through my daily routine of mm -hmm. uh, juice and uh, smoothies, all healthy smoothies and cooking my own meals, which I'm used to doing anyway. But now I'm putting a little more effort with uh, what colors I have on my palate and, mm -hmm. and uh, how much carb I'm taking in and how much protein. So I'm pretty much keeping myself occupied with self-care, I guess. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I've just been eating and getting fat. <laughs> yeah, I've been working out maybe once a week or something, but mostly I'm just being lazy. I really should step it up. So are the people, how are the people um, handling it in India? Because you're in India right now. Where in India are you? I'm in Bangalore. In Bangalore, okay. And are the, are the people like uh, following the rules? Uh, for the most of it, in the initial few days, I think people, um, after about a week or so, they started like going on their bikes a little too much. And uh -huh. of course, the, the police were told not to uh, hit people, which they did on the first day of the lockdown. And uh, so they started just holding on to their bikes and telling them, uh, we're going to seize the bike. You can't roam around like this, you know, like three boys on that bike. Uh, roaming around or just meeting somewhere grouping up in front of a shop for a smoke and stuff like that so yeah <clears throat> that has been stopped for sure but mm -hmm. essentials are in place uh, we don't have any problem there is no need to stock up uh, in the initial i think the first two three days uh, after the lo uh, lockdown was a little chaotic like uh, people weren't getting milk or curd and you know certain groceries were like all done and you know because some people started hoarding because of the fear but mm -hmm. everything is normal all the grocery shops essential stores medicals hospitals um gas stations banks everything is open so ah, you know, okay. but it's all need to basis and mm -hmm. if you need to travel from a certain jurisdiction to another jurisdiction mm -hmm. you have to go to the police station and take a slip and give them the reason as to why you really need to go that way. So, and then you can show the slip and you can travel around. When we have to uh, get some food, we have to go to the grocery to do some grocery shopping. Can you go or is it not allowed? Uh, that you don't need permission for. So basically, uh, you we, we try to go to all the grocery stores which are local, like mm -hmm. close by about maybe 10 to 15 minutes walk. And not more than that, but we can always take our two weeks and we can go, and that's not a problem at all. Ah, okay. Do you see us? Is there an increase or decrease in the cases, the corona cases? There's a steady increase. Ah, okay. um, what we have been following is just the online uh, cases anyway. So it's been, I think, uh, it plateaued at 700 for a while and then at 800 for a while. And it just, but there is a steady increase. And right yesterday, I think was the highest. It was like almost thousand five hundred cases. Wow. So 
it's not really but i the the increase or the speed of increase is not that much but people okay. are following the lockdown rules and like um i can see like a lot of community um building happening here you know uh, people in the apartment who never spoke to each other are helping each other out in you know if they need something and it's not like they have to run to the shop for it so it's pretty nice oh that's yeah. really nice yeah I, i think that's the the best thing that came out of it is that you see people coming together you know it's really beautiful to see that yeah absolutely like i go for my workouts to the terrace in the evening mm-hmm. um i think about um three four other ladies like older ladies also come there and but they all they all do their walking there but they maintain a distance and they're sitting also kind of far away from each other and trying to chat with each other and all oh that. that's so, so cute it's pretty yeah. cute to <laughs> yeah and were you at all scared of this whole situation or not really actually one day before the lockdown uh one day before uh, our prime announced the lockdown the initial lockdown mm-hmm. um i suddenly had like oh my god this is like a huge deal like uh-huh. until then like things were happening in china and in all around the world and the seriousness of it had not sunk in mm-hmm. and, and that one day this is like apocalypse happening like it's yeah. close to like what any kind of apocalypse that our generation is probably going to see i'm scared that we probably will see a lot more in the future if we go on the way we have been going on for uh, sure abusing the nature and, um you know the resources mm-hmm. and everything like but uh, i i truly think that this is actually a, a wake up call for all of us and i did have like a shocking moment and i was like oh my god is this like all the movies that we have seen where the roads are going to be empty and everything is going to be closed there's not going to be food but really the main thing that a man, human needs to survive is food and that is there at least mm-hmm. but then again there are a lot of work now and uh, we are also trying our best you know uh, whatever little we can do to help these uh, uh, people who you know day, uh, who work on daily wages right so Yeah. Okay, and it's everyone in your family is safe. Do you know anyone who's been affected by the virus? Fortunately, no. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Everybody uh stay safe, follow the rules. Mm-hmm. And I think everybody's kind of this time for internal uh, you know, retrospection and seeing what you know. Pretty much all of us are taking we have finally have we finally have the time to do the things that we always wanted to do but we always gave the reason that i'm too busy i'm running around yeah. i have this work and that and now you know, now you have no excuses <laughs> yeah absolutely there's no other excuses yeah exactly so do you think the lockdown is going to be longer than the 4th of may do you think Um, I really hope not, but mm-hmm. I have a feeling that it's not uh, going to be complete lockdown that it is. Uh, it is right now. Mm-hmm. They are going to open it up, but the rumor or the word is out there that even after the fifth or the fourth of May, um, mm-hmm. the inter travel or even I mean uh, interstate travel or inter district travel won't be open. And even if you want to travel, it'll be from with uh, you know if you have your own private vehicle. because uh, you know opening up the um, lockdown and like thousands of people rushing in the buses and trains just so yeah that's true that's true so what are your plans for tonight um so i have a very weird schedule mm-hmm. so uh, workout in the evening so yeah. i'm supposed to be working out like 20 minutes before <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Food and everything is already prepped. So I'm going to go up, do my little bit of workout. Today mm-hmm. is my day, so I'm going to do some ah. workout with rest and bands and stuff like that. And then come back, chill. And it is 4:20 today. So yeah, it chill. is. <laughs> your hair, your head looks so beautiful with the short hair. Thank you, thank you. It's like really scanty, so yeah. Have you? Way- When did you do that? 
Okay, I have you always had it like this? I have actually shaved five times already. So. Ah, uh, okay. And how long was your hair when you shaved it first time? Uh, it was just a little below the shoulder. Ah, okay, okay. It looks really nice. I actually found you through a Instagram uh, page, which features like ladies who had like a bus cut or pixie cut. I think it's called a short hair lump or something. Do you know it? No, I think I. Um, so I follow uh, short hair love, and yeah. I was doing this uh, uh, kind of an online uh, to kind of remove all your boredom during the quarantine time, right? So yeah. I was doing that online thingy where uh, you pick a photo of uh, one one of the best photos that you think mm-hmm. from the that the photographer or the page has, and I, I think I picked your picture. Yeah, so yeah, you did. That's so nice. Thank you so much. It was so sweet. Yeah, it was beautiful. It's a beautiful picture. I was like, mm, 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 this one. So ah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So big shout out to uh, Short Hair Love for uh, hooking us up. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Yeah. yeah thank you so much. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah. Well, that was fun talking to her. I'm just gonna end this vlog right here. I uh, hope you liked it. And uh, if you want, please uh, leave me a message in the comments about um, where you're from and how the situation is where you're at right now. I would love to hear about it and read about it. So uh, yeah, for now, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.